Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So today we are gonna take a look at the KNFB Reader app. I'm gonna be doing it on Android, but it is also available on iOS devices, uh, iPads, iPhones. It works great on all of these devices. I haven't had uh, any trouble using this on any kind of device. So it's an amazing app, it's very powerful. This is the KNFB Reader. launch the app right here and we'll talk about some of the features, uh, some of the things you can do with it. I unfortunately won't go into everything here today because that would be a really long video. We're just going to hit some of the highlights. So if we take a quick tour around this main interface, the uh, capture image interface, we'll start at the top and work our way down to the bottom. Now, once again, I'm using Android. I think it's pretty much the same on iOS. I think the layout is exactly the same. Top right, you have a settings button. Then next to that, you have your file explorer button. We'll talk more about that here in a minute. Below that, on the left, you have a flash toggle. You can turn that on or off. And a lot of these buttons you can also access through the settings. You can turn the flash on and off in the settings. Then right in the middle of the screen on the left, you have your capture button that will take your picture. On the right of the middle, you have your field of view report. You can use that to see if you are lined up precisely over the document, if uh, the camera can see all four edges of the document. So right below the capture button on the left side, you have a button to add a picture from your library, from your gallery. Uh, this works really well if you have a picture that has text on it, like a meme, for example. You can add that in and the uh, KNFB Reader will read the meme text to you. On the right, you have a batch mode button, and we'll talk a little bit about that in a second. Now, down at the bottom, you have some gray buttons. Uh, left to right, there's three buttons. Left to right, it's language. You can set the language that the uh, reader will speak to you. So right next to that, in the middle of the bottom, is the picture mode. Uh, that is single column or multi-column. Just depends on what kind of uh, document you're taking a picture of. And then finally, all the way to the right, the bottom right, is the capture mode. You can set it to manual capture or automatic capture, and we'll talk about those. It is very simple. Uh, we have a couple pieces of paper here that we will test. Now, this is just a document that I printed up. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but just to prove how well this works, I'm even gonna flip it upside down. So this is upside down. Now, what you do is you hold the device over and you can see in the camera on the screen here, you can tell if your document is lined up and all four corners are, are visible. Then you tap the capture button Takes a picture. Commonwealth of Kentucky Education and Workforce Development. Cabinet. Kentucky Office for the Blind. Consent Agreement. Hereby consent to the use of my name, voice, picture, awards, and or accomplishments to be released to the public and for media in print or electronic format that may... So it takes a picture, processes it very quickly, and then it comes back with the results and starts reading it aloud to you. Now I have it set up with a black background and uh, this yellow highlight as it's going over the text. You can customize that in your settings. So you have some controls at the bottom, play, pause, uh, you have up a line, down a line, so you can skip to the next line if you need to. You also have skip to the next page or go to a previous page, and that's because of the batch mode that we talked about earlier. You can set it to batch mode where you can take a picture of a document, then take a picture of another document, then take a picture of another document, and have multiple pages in here, and then you can save those all as one document. And, and then go back and forth and read each page if you need to. At the bottom of the screen, you have your language is still there, so you can once again change the language, but now you also have an option to change the speed. So you can increase or decrease the speed of the reading back to you. 
Up at the top, we have some new options. You have a review picture button. And so you can uh, click that and it will show the picture of the document you just captured. Next to that, you have an add page button. So if you decided you wanted to add another page to this document, you could do that really quickly. Beside that, you have the redo OCR button and that will kind of reprocess the image. Uh, sometimes you might get a kind of a weird result. Uh, she starts talking gibberish. And uh, so you might want to try that, just redo the processing of that image. Then all the way to the right, you have a save button. So you can save the scan as a document in your file manager and save it for later. Then it'll always be there until you delete it and you can bring it back up and read it later. Now real quickly, I'll demonstrate the auto capture feature. When it's in automatic mode, you'll hear this wong, wong. And that's letting you know that you're in automatic mode and uh, not manual. The way this works is you place the device flat on the document, try and get it as centered as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, the phone will let you know that the lens is covered when you do. Lens covered. Now you're going to lift it straight up until the phone detects all four corners or detects text. So if you couldn't hear, she said, text detected, please hold still, taking picture. So once you hear that, you hold still and you can take, she'll take a picture. Now, if you're not sure if you're holding it at the right angle, you could click the field of view report button and she'll tell you how well you're holding it. All four edges are visible. Rotated one degree counterclockwise. So it sounds like I'm good. I could go ahead and take a picture manually. Consumer interview questions 2016 OFB annual report. And she got it. Phone number. It works really, really well, guys. I'm pretty impressed of how quickly and accurately it works. It also works awesomely with voiceover. And you can control with gestures. You can pause and play with um, uh, gestures using voiceover and it's, it works really, really well. We're currently doing training at the Bluegrass Council of the Blind with the KNFB Reader. And just yesterday I was teaching my buddy Alaric how to use it. And this was the very first time he had ever gotten his hands on the device, on the app. And uh, this is how it went. Picture from library. OCR language. Add picture. Field of view report. Button. Field of all edges are visible. All corners of the page are visible. Rotated four degrees counterclockwise. You can also manually take a picture if you if you think take you've picture. got it. Button. Take picture. Pause. Four F C enchilada dinners, whole meals. Cap H one lot of dinner cap. His typical Mexican meal combines Amy's popular black bean enchilada and sauce with organic pinto beans and Spanish rice. It's dairy free and is of course absolutely delicious. Black bean enchilada dinner. Okay. Lens covered. Text found. Please hold still. 
Page one of one. They don't have all the bells Ta-da. and whistles as the newer models. Even older CCTVs okay, could be a know. benefit to you those got with it. low vision. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. So if you think the video helped you at all, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I have videos coming out every week on a variety of topics, all having to do with vision impairment. Thanks again for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.